Hey, welcome to Easy Eats. My name is Lisa Burt and I am planning to make summer salsa. So the most important ingredients are when we eat it. So we're gonna use the tortilla chips to do that and dip it in the bowl. Okay, so we have Roma tomatoes, one of my favorites. I love these little guys. We also have a jalapeno, um, a little salt. We have cilantro, which is one of those things you either like it or you don't. One of my faves, this is good stuff. We also have garlic, zucchini, and we have a little onion and some lime juice. I get yeah, it's gonna be really tasty. We're gonna start with the zucchini. Now I'm gonna cut this, but I first want to point out a couple things. I have two knives here, and these two knives. Um, this is a big one, right? And I'm not quite feeling comfortable with this because I feel like it's just a little too big for me. So I'm gonna put that aside, and now I'm gonna use this this pink size, and it's a little smaller. Um, if I feel like it's too small, I'll, I'll switch back to this knife. Um, but I'm going to start um, in preparing my ingredients. And what's important about this, I learned this from a really good cook. If I make this big, everything else needs to be big. So I have to try to keep this the same size. So good luck. <sighs> Wish me luck. All right, so I'm going to start chopping some of these items. And I'm going to chop off the little top part there. And then I'm gonna go to the rear and I'm gonna chop that off too, okay? And then we're gonna use what's left to do our slicing and dicing. But again, what's really important is these knives are sharp. So you wanna try to keep your hands back like this um, so that you don't actually lose a finger. And so I will show you a trick that I've been working on all weekend because I knew that I was gonna do some chopping here now, but I'm gonna chop first, there we go and then tell you what I was working on. So anyway, I was working on this trick. So if you were gonna, oh, 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 if you use the wrong knife, it could be dangerous. So be careful, because you don't want to lose a finger. So now I gotta work on keeping these all the same size. So again, I'm putting my fingers back, and then I'm just gonna give these a little slice, like that, and because I want it all to be the same size. All right, and then, I line these little guys up. This is one of my favorite parts because then I'm chopping through and I'm getting them cut. Here we go. Just like that. Um, I'm a little nervous today because cooking isn't necessarily something I do very often. So I usually order and you know sometimes it's nice to have a healthy thing that you cook yourself and to be able to make salsa, this is one of the one of the things I want to learn. So I am actually learning right now with you, um, and I'm scared to death. But it's the things that I remember: be safe around knives, um, slice everything the same size, so that when you're making your salsa, you have ingredients and not one flavor is overpowering the other. I learned that on TV by the magic of cameras. Everything is um, chopped, and we're going to get this, which I'm being trusted at the moment. Um, let's get this in the bowl, okay? We're just going to tilt this down to the bowl and just take a little off at a time because these guys like to escape. Meet Mr. Onion. Um, he can get a little saucy, make your eyes cry. So you have to be careful with him. If you get some, if you have some glasses or some protective wear, you can wear that. Or what I do at home sometimes is I just slice it in half and rinse it underwater. That helps the um, juices from um, actually getting back in your eye. All right. So we're gonna take a little bit of this jacket off here, um, just because we want to get down to the onion pieces and we don't want to have to do this later. Okay. So I'm going to start by cutting off the little top, and that does help you get a little starter so you can finish um, getting this top layer off. And now we're going to slice this guy into a lot of different pieces, and then we're going to chop him up. So we're going to be careful, keeping your hands where you can see them. Alright, so I'm just going to keep chopping them. And sometimes it's harder this way, so I'm going to flatten them out in just a moment. See, this is what I like to do at home. I, I cut a couple circles and then I make some lines this way. Okay, 
And then I come back this way and just cut across. So it helps me keep things chopped. So if you don't cook at home a lot, sometimes chopping is probably one of the hardest things to, to remember how to do and to be careful with it and everything. So it's not something I do very often. Can you tell? All right. All right. Getting them nice and chopped up, probably about the same size as my zucchini. So I'm going to put some of the onion in there and I am going to pick it up guys. I'm eat just easier and cleaner that way for me, but I'm going to pick it up, throw my onions in. So now I'm going to start chopping the cilantro, but I want to tell you a couple things about it. All right. So down at the bottom here, do you see this? This is the stem. This isn't something that you want in your um, salsa. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that off and really focus on the leafy part. So let's start with um, making sure that all of this down here, we're just gonna cut that off, okay? So I'm gonna start with just giving it a good cut. Now, if you notice, I switched to the bigger knife and I'm trying to be careful here. I needed the bigger knife because when we're chopping, look at all this, when we're chopping it and we're trying to get it smaller, I need the bigger knife to be able to rock back and forth, I think, or at least that's what I've heard. Someone said, all right, so now we're gonna start try to chop some of this okay and I, I may take off a little more stem later but we're going to try to chop it up and because I want to make sure that I get some nice um, leafy parts that I'm just balling it up I'm going to do this and move my hand back and then I'm going to start chopping here okay wish me luck I think I remembered and we're trying to keep our hands back and do you see how the like a lot of the leafy part comes off so that part's good Okay, then we're gonna keep chopping. Now we're gonna get to the chopping part. See a couple stems I need to get rid of. Now we're gonna chop this, because we need three quarters of a cup, but I'm taking a cook's prerogative and I'm saying, eh, this looks like about three quarters of a cup. All right, so now I'm gonna work on this chopping. So we're gonna try to rock back and forth like this. And we're gonna do it a different direction too, so that we can get this all chopped up. And the nice part about this recipe is like, a lot of the veggies are really affordable and you can put it in your refrigerator and have it more than once. Okay, look, I chopped. I chopped all by myself. This is so beautiful. Um, wait, I, I just have a moment. I've chopped. It's so exciting. You know, I, I have had cilantro so many times, I've never been able to chop it. Thank you, everyone. You've been able to witness something that I've not been able to do before, but can do now. All right, I'm gonna add it to the bowl now. All right, so I'm just gonna grab handfuls of it because remember, it said three quarters of a cup, but again, the cook's prerogative. I'm thinking this is about three quarters of a cup. And so I am getting it all in and I'm putting it in the bowl. All right. I think we got it. So next we're going to tackle the garlic. Then garlic's interesting because it's like an onion. It had this outer skin, okay? But what we really want is this meaty stuff right here. All right. So how do we get it out of there? I'm kind of wondering myself. But I think I have a way, all right? So I'm just gonna try to peel some of the paper back a little bit here. And I say paper, but it's really the skin. And these things inside here, do you see it right here? That's the garlic clove that we need. And so I am being, a, I'm gonna use my knife a little bit. I'm not being careful here to peel it out. All right, I think I got that out. And so we need three of these cloves, but this has this fine paper on there, so I'll show you a little bit of a trick. Hopefully I've learned it correctly. Now when we're going to get this last little paper off, we put this knife flat down and we push like this. Okay, well, i got to push again. And the paper kind of crumples up and we're able to get the garlic out. And we're going to need three of these cloves. So it looks like I might need to do that again. Oh, I got a little tiny bit. So I'm gonna put that over. 
Oh, that was good. That was good crunch. Got that done. Now we're gonna take our garlic, and again, we are going to chop it. And we want to chop it, you know, small because garlic can be kind of strong. So let's let's give that a shot. Now I'm using this big knife so I can rock it back and forth without um, touching much of the garlic. I'm chopping. All right. If you were here, you would smell the garlic. It smells delicious. Although it smells like you would have to brush your teeth before you talk to people. And then I'm gonna, again, get it in the bowl. That bowl seems to be so far away sometimes. Wow, there we go. Got a little garlic in there. I'm gonna pretend like I'm on a cooking show. Got the little garlic. You got that in there. Got a jalapeno here. Now these guys are spicy, or can be. Um, it's funny because inside this little uh, jalapeno, we've got some seeds. So if you like your food spicy, use the seeds, but be careful uh, because you want to not make it too spicy. Not everybody likes spice. All right, so I'm going to start, I'm, I am, I'm going to chop this little top off. All right, and if you see this right here, right underneath are the, the seeds. So I'm going to slice it this way. And if you see there, my fingers are on both sides, but I'm going to go right down the middle because I can feel the seeds in there. And I don't want to make mine too spicy. And there's the seeds. So my job here is to get the seeds out. So now we're going to chop. All right. And I'm going to chop these small because they're spicy. And sometimes when they're too big, they give people a lot of spice at once. All right, into the bowl. This is amazing. So, uh, I'm gonna be honest, that's the first jalapeno I've ever chopped. So again, a lot of firsts today. One more piece of this wonderful recipe is, we're gonna put in these five tomatoes, but I gotta chop them. So let's get started. I'll put two on the board. I'm gonna use this bigger knife. I'm, I'm getting used to it. And with the tomato, you gotta cut off that little, little top Looks like every, that's where the, the growing happens, right? All right, and so what I like to do with tomatoes, cut off that top part and then just slice down the middle. And now I've got them two flat pieces, right? And that helps me with my, my chopping. So again, I'm gonna try to keep those sides. Remember the zucchini size. And I am trying to keep them about the same size. There we go. And then line them up like that. And I, I like a good tomato slice. So it's good when they are a part of the party. Tomatoes are good. All right, so now we've made it through one and it's gonna probably help to get it in the bowl so we have room to chop the next one. All right, so we've got our ingredients in the bowl and it's looking darn pretty. Now we have to do the last thing. So we need a quarter cup of lime juice. So I just have this handy dandy thing. This is quarter cup. And I am going to pour lime juice right into this and squeezing it out. And we're gonna put the, the lime juice right in on top. Okay, I'm just giving it a, there we go. There's our lime juice. And now the next thing that we need to do we have to add some salt, okay? And we are going to add half a half a teaspoon. You see TSP? Teaspoon. Now we're gonna add half, half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna add it to the whole thing, okay? It's gonna help um, make the flavors tasty. So we're gonna just pour it in, okay? There we go, I'm gonna just get a little salt around there. All right, now we've gotten that part done. Next thing we do, we mix. Now all the chopping that we've done, which was a lot, we're gonna now mix the ingredients together. We wanna see a little bit of everything throughout. We wanna see the different colors, like look at the cilantro looking all happy. And then we have the zucchini coming up and they're looking thrilled. They're, nice to meet you, cilantro, nice to meet you. 
And so everybody's meeting each other and mixing together. This is beautiful. All the onion. Everybody's saying hello. After we get it all mixed, the next thing we're supposed to do is chill. Okay, I'm gonna stop and chill. Oh, wait, I think it meant put it in the refrigerator, but that's kind of silly. When did you say put it in the refrigerator? Um, okay, so when they say chill in the recipe, they don't mean just hang out. Go ahead and put that in the recipe, put it in the refrigerator. So thank you for joining me on Easy Eats. It's been a blast. I've learned a lot. I hope you enjoy your salsa. Thanks. I haven't had any carbs in 11 days, so you all right, know squeeze I all in, guys. Oh. You can doing this. The chip less. Oh. No, you get your own chip. I picked this one out for me because it's not a big mouther. Ooh. All right, all right, oh, guys. I'll dig in and try it. it. Delicious. Oops, Lisa, push, push. There we go. Thanks. Push the bus. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Oh, very good. Nicely done. Mm-hmm. I'm mm -hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Perfect amount of garlic. Mm-hmm. I like it. Well, good Nicely garlic. done. Okay, we're done, right? Mm -hmm. We're all done.